Hello and welcome to Star Citizen Sunday. This is a weekly show which covers all the news from Star Citizen over the past week. I am your host, Mac, so let's get on with it. This week, we take a look at the new revamped website, CIG respond to Crytek, plus I give you an update regarding all the crazy giveaways. So we had the first around the first of the year, and it looked at the new website coming later this month. The redesign will make it more accessible for newcomers and veterans alike, they say. It also runs better on mobile devices, which is excellent. Uh, we had a little update from Turbulent, so they want a better experience for new players, making it better, faster and easier to find the information that they need. They're expecting a lot of newcomers to the game as the goals begin to get reached, especially now that 3.0 is out. They've divided the website into sections, so you've got Join the Star Citizen PU, Join Squadron 42 and the, the constant uh, development process and showing us the current posts that we are used to, as well as having a better communication side of things. They did say it will be a true mobile experience as well, which is good because a lot of the time I use my mobile to catch up on stuff. But next up, they will apply everything to the rest of the site, removing any unnecessary stuff and revamping the accounts page. They're going to look into how to bring Spectrum data into the platform bar so you can be constantly connected to Spectrum and into the game. That is going to be a good part where it, basically if you're not in-game but your friends are, you can contact them and they can get contacted in-game rather than having to break away and go to a website or a third-party site. Very useful. They did say that it's a premium game and that needs a premium website and once integrated into the game I think it will be awesome and I cannot wait for that. So that's going to come at the end of this month. I'll take a look at it and if it's uh, worth having a rundown of it and giving you a little guide to how to use it, I will do. But if it's as simple as they say it will be, there probably isn't going to be any need. But anyway, that was ATV. It was just a, an eight minute show talking about the website. I do hope they bring back the more in-depth studio reports, but it looks like this is going to be um, how it's going to be for now on. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let's move on. So for the past few months, I've been giving away a large amount of ships. The winners of the latest Constellation and Freelancer giveaways are as followed. The Constellation winner is Nats Gatto and the Freelancer is Avatar Chris. So congratulations to you guys. Now these two giveaways were thanks to Cray Ray and his organization. Raiden has actually put a video together for the ships that he has for us to give away in February. I have linked the video below so do check it out. To name a few of the prizes, we have $200 in gift cards, 4 Star Citizen starter packages, 5 Merlins, 2 300i ships and 2 315p ships, an Avenger, a Hornet, 2 Cutlasses, a Freelancer and 2 Constellation Tauruses. And when he reaches 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, it looks like he'll be giving away a Reclaimer as well. So be sure to head over to Cray Ray's YouTube channel, which is Dragons Gaming. Again, there's a link below. This guy and his org... Uh, have been legendary to me and my community for a while now, providing these crazy giveaways to help me grow and to thank the Star Citizen community. So massive, massive thank you to him and his friends. Please do head over to his YouTube channel and help him get to 2,000 subs and beyond. And let's unlock that Reclaimer giveaway. Now, the giveaway we currently have running is courtesy of the Black Suns organization who have donated um, a Banu Merchantman to give away. So follow the top link below to the giveaway to enter and please check them out on the RSA website. A great organization should you want to join up. Now over on Twitch we currently are running a sub fest. Once I reach 175 subs we have a $25 gift card to give away thanks to Kujo Rabbit Dog. When we get to 200 subs Mr. Yellow has provided a Tumbrel Nova Tonk to give away. Now I'm still thinking of a prize for the 225 subs which I will come up with when the time comes uh, but for 250 subs Cruz has donated a Constellation Phoenix so make sure that you follow me on Twitch to stand a chance of winning. Big thank you to those guys. If you are curious as to what I do on Twitch, we generally chill out and discuss Star Citizen topics from the weeks past, uh, or whatever pops into our minds. We have a couple of beers, we relax, my streams are very chilled and welcoming because my community, you guys, are absolutely awesome. Plus now and again we have giveaways going at random, depending on who shows up. Uh, so if you fancy hanging out with us, or have any questions that you need answering, do head over to twitch.tv forward slash Ryan and hit that follow button. So also this week, CIG responded to Crytek. As you may have heard, Crytek was suing CIG for a, a breach of contract in some areas. CIG provided the game license agreement, which pretty much dissolves all the cases that Crytek have placed, and it looks as though the whole case may be dismissed. There is a potential for, for a comeback somewhere, but Board Gamer has done a very good in-depth video of the case. I won't go into details because I, I don't really understand that side of things. Uh, but I will link Board Gamer's video in the description should you want to learn more. Also, in regards to the law release, 
now 3.0 is released, the lore team is more focused now on creating in-game content for Star Citizen and Squadron 42, so they're adjusting their release schedule in regards to lore content. Rather than a weekly lore post, it will change to a monthly post, including a steady release of the older content that has yet to be released. So on another note, I have been asked many times if I could create my own organisation, and I finally have gotten round to it. It is currently called the SMB Org until I can think of a better name. It is still in the in early development for it, so don't expect anything wonderful just yet. It is a place in which I can find people from my community to play uh, with me when I record things on YouTube or maybe during Twitch streams. It's also a place for those looking for like-minded players to team up. We will not specialise in one area, but eventually have divisions in all areas so people can take part in, uh, in whatever area they like. As I say, it's still in early development, but if you'd like to join, even as an affiliate, follow the link below and sign up. So that brings us to the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to the subscribers and the patrons as you make this possible. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram, and I shall see you next time.